Alrighty guys, I am going to be doing a quick, I say quick, but it's probably not going to be quick at all, but I am going to be doing a video today on my suggestions for SCP Secret Laboratories map generation and like map layouts and all that jazz. And I'm pretty much going to record this and stream it at the same time because, you know, it's probably easier just to show people what I mean and give them visual reference uh, visual images of the changes that I want to show because to put it in words it's going to confuse the hell out of people and I just don't have the patience for that so also oh yeah also just apologize in advance I have to use display capture because my streaming program doesn't allow me to capture uh, like my Google documents to show my notes and all that stuff. So I'm just going to have to do it like this. So yeah, sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, there's nine. Yeah, James, there's nine Davids because I am using display capture. I can't help it. But anyway, let me just get right to it. No, not my stream. Okay, anyway, so I wrote down not many points, but just things I noticed because I've been doing a lot of tests in like a private game as me as admin and just playing as SCP-079 so I can see the layouts of how the uh, game generates like heavy containment. And so far I found out for this game that there are a total of five layouts, which you can see right here. Five layouts in this game, which actually to make for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. There you go. There, there's all the five layouts. Okay. Yes. So these are the five layouts that the game's going to spawn when it spawns heavy containment. Congratulations, you now know them all. And yeah, at the moment, I have some problems with some of these which I am definitely going to address. But yeah, these, these are the five layouts, just for references. Okay, now that we got that one out of the way, let's just go right to the thing. Okay, so see, here, here are my, how I feel the map, what my changes should be and what the goal should be and all that kind of stuff. So basically point number one is make maps have much less points, much less choke points or single paths. It helps to prevent players from camping a location for easy kills. Okay, this is easy to show. Pretty much number two and number five are really bad map gens. Like, these maps create way too many, like, locations where an SCP or a facility guard or just anyone could camp. Like, quick examples would be like this one right here. Like, based on how the straight map line spawns, you can have someone camp right here. I hope you can see that. Or even this map over here, you can have someone camp like right over here or over here, if depending on how the room spawns. And that's really not good for the, uh, it's just not good for, like, players because it just promotes boring camping. It's not fun for people trying to navigate the map just to get killed because there's only one way to leave. And it creates problematic gameplay. Oh, hello, eat my birds. How are you? Okay, yeah. So these two map scripts, number two and number five, I would get rid of or completely rework them. Or at least add add more add more locations that you could navigate around. Because these maps are really not good. And I don't mean that to be mean, but it's just true. These are especially this one. This is a no. Because this is just too predictable, too linear, and it's just really no. No. Okay, so let's get to point number two. Okay, maps should have more paths intersecting each other to make the layout less predictable for a player. A good example of this would be map S numero uno. You see, this map has a lot of different paths that intersect each other, and 
you know, you can get lost. But the thing is, with this map, it could still be a little better. Like, I would prefer maybe, let's just remove some of the drawings I made, because we don't need that. With this map, I would maybe throw something maybe over here, a room here, and maybe for the sake of, uh, let me see if I can see another example, maybe like something like this. But other than that, this map is mostly perfect. Like, this is really good. Because it's very easy for players to, like, navigate and get lost. And I think that's good. It's less predictable. I mean, at least that's my opinion. Okay. The other point number three. SCP rooms and other rooms of interest should spawn in the center of the map and not always in corners. Examples would be SCP... 106 room, 107's room, 096 room, etc. Okay, here we go. So this one's pretty easy to kind of explain. You see how there's all these squares here? There's a square here, 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 here. Pretty much, they're not being... There's nothing in these gaps. Meanwhile, you have all the important rooms in the in like the corners. Like I think it would be nice for the sake of randomness that say maybe you could it you could uh let's see. Maybe for example, remove the computer's room here and put it here. Or maybe move Larry's room and put it over here. Like, this is better than keeping everything at the corners. Because really, if you're experienced at this game, you're going to know you want to run against the corners. And just find the important rooms that have all the key cards and whatnot that you're looking for. I mean, that one's pretty self-explanatory. But it really would help the game if there was, like, less corners like even you could even say expand this and throw another room over here and then throw something over here like larry's room and throw the computer rooms here like something like that would be good for that okay so let's see now there's still more to this okay now okay Special rooms and points of interest should have more random locations they can spawn rather than set locations per map layout. Okay, this one I think James pointed out pretty early. Uh, yeah. In case you guys haven't noticed, map number two is just an example, but all these maps do it. All the maps pretty much have locations that probably, we'll just say for the sake of simplicity, have a value of X, where X is pretty much an SCP room, a Tesla gate, or actually in this case, the Tesla gate, well, no, 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 it's, it's different for these two. But point is, we're just going to put that Tesla gates and special rooms and SCP rooms are X. So far, these map layouts, like, if it picks any of these five layouts, the five layouts are always going to be the same. There's always going to be a special room over here, a special room over here, one 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 over here. Like, th that should be more random. Because as you can see, these are kind of cardboard copies of each other. Yeah. Yeah, and that's another thing too. Yeah, I pointed that earlier. It's just a lot of straight lines. But the thing is, these are like, like, these should be much more random. Like, say you get map number two, even though I don't like map number two, but I'll use it as an example for the sake of simplicity. <sighs> That's a lot of talking. Okay. Say, let's say the first map. Let's use this as an example. Say this is the first map you get in your game. Okay, this is okay. But the second map, maybe give a chance that elevator system B doesn't spawn here it spawns here. Say maybe Larry's room doesn't spawn here, it spawns here. Maybe have the... Ugh, I mean, this isn't the best one, but maybe have the computer room spawn over here. 
And if you actually take my suggestion, maybe the whatever point it was, maybe put a room in the middle. And the point is, it's it's better to have it more random and just have it randomly select locations when the map's being generated instead of having a layout that basically has, let's say, the value of x at certain spots and it's just randomizing what you put there. Because again, this is to a degree predictable, especially now that you actually see all the... Uh, Yes, Microsoft Paint. This is all I could use. But anyway, yeah. Uh, basically, it makes it less predictable. Okay. Now, point number five, which would just... This would just help mostly with just creating less uh, choke points and make more interesting and dynamic layouts. <sighs> I would suggest uh, some, if not all, SCP rooms should either have or have a chance to have, oh, I forgot to put that, to have two exits, which would help with point one and two, which is, you know, less checkpoints, more unpredictable layout. But I mean, I think that's a good suggestion. Like, if you take, I opened up my stream, jeez, I hate this. If you take, um, say, for example, you could take the computer room right here. And if you could do it, you could put it right here and just add another exit to the side. Like, just rework. Now, this would require you to rework. Uh, yeah, it really isn't. But this would require you to rework some of the SCP rooms. But I think if it's for the sake of improving the map gen, it's worth it. Like, add SC the computer room in here and add a door over here, a door over here, just have the room here, and add the entrance to his room like at the corner over here. God, it looks like a fish with a hat, but I'm trying my best to show it. Like, that would be better. Like, do that for a lot of the SCP rooms, so, again, there's less choke points. And it's easier to, you know... Oh, oh, oh yeah, you can see that? No, that's because I don't see the stream chat overlay. Oh, do you see that in the video? Yeah, well, oops. Yeah, let me Yeah, let me get rid of that then. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to keep it like that for the sake of this. I'll just move it a little bit. Anyway, um, yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty much all the suggestions I have. And I think if all of that was done, it would be... I mean, it would be a lot of work. But it would be a hell of a lot better. But like I said, I would suggest... Removing these two, remove these, make more of these, but also avoid making cardboard copies. Oh yeah, that's one more thing I forgot to say. Try try to avoid having copies like this. Like I know I said it before with this, but a more complex example would be like number one. Like have, instead of all this spawning over here, this square, maybe flip it and have it spawn over here. And, you know, like, just make this more random. But, yeah, like I said, definitely remove map number two and map number five. And, I mean, number three, number four, I mean, they could be better by just maybe, I mean, it's, it's like, maybe add, like, maybe something, like, over here. Maybe if the server room wasn't here, maybe something like this. But, I mean, they're tolerable, but preferably I like the layout of number one because that one is very big and it's not very easy to navigate. Like, it's not brain-dead easy to figure it out. And, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all my suggestions. And, hey, that was only, like, 14 minutes long. I expected this to take 30 minutes. Okay. Anyway... Thank you guys for watching, and I'm probably going to play the Patreon build or something in a few minutes. But yeah, I just pretty much wanted to show this so I could express my ideas in a more easier fashion. No, James. Easier fashion for people to understand, because for me to word all this would probably give people a headache. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back in a bit. See ya.